I can practically see your lunch. We need to talk about getting you on some kind of diet. Miss Parker, I'm sorry, but I'm not entirely sure what you're getting at here. That extra weight is making it harder for you to perfect your form. I don't know how else to tell you, but you're unhealthy. You need to lose a few pounds if you want to operate at your full potential. Oh. Not only will it make you a better dancer, but it will improve your appeal on the stage. You see what I'm saying, right? Miss Parker, we're ready for the next set. Okay, I'll be right inside. Oh wait, Ellen, tell me what you think of our Lauren here. What do you mean? She's a tad big, don't you think? I think people come to see us for our ability, not for our bodies. Well, ability can only get you so far if you don't have the body to match it. Miss Parker, are you calling Lauren fat? No, I'm just saying she could do without some of those extra pounds. Ellen, it's okay. I'm sorry. So from now on, let's just stick to celery and water, okay? Maybe almonds every once in a while? Yes, ma'am. That's what I did to shed a few pounds back in the day. And trust me, you need it just as much as I did back then. Cut back on the pizza and get back to dancing. All right, ladies, back to second position. If you want to be a great dancer, then you need to shed those pounds, Lauren. This is for the best. This will make you better. Come on, Lauren. It's not just your stomach. You've got to work to burn those calories, too. I need to have a little talk with you. Okay, is everything all right? I'm not seeing enough progress on your weight loss journey. Miss Parker, it's been a week. And have you seen any progress yet? A little, but these things take time, right? Lauren, if you want to get rid of some of that tub, you're going to have to work for it. Yeah. The boys will like you more. They don't want all that excess baggage. I'm already in a happy relationship, Miss Parker. Well, then he must have some extra cushion too. With all due respect, I don't think my body is as bad as you say it is. I love me. All this body positivity bull is just a myth to sell more Twinkies and Ho-Hos to lazy people. It's okay to be happy with who you are. Well, maybe, if you weren't tubby, Lauren. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna see you on my 600-pound life anytime soon, but you might be headed in that direction. Yes, ma'am. Fat doesn't sell. It's my job to lead a group of not only talented, but attractive dancers. Yes, ma'am. You see the rest of the troupe. They don't seem to be struggling with this as much as you are. Are you special? No, ma'am. And you sure as hell won't be special if you don't lose some of those extra pounds. Okay. Oh, and Lauren? Yes? Five pounds by next practice, or you're cut. You can't afford to eat today, Lauren. Not even celery for you, Piggy. Keep running, Lauren. You can't afford to lose this position in the troop. And pirouette. And plie. And plie. Back to third. And plie. Ladies, why did we stop dancing? We still have an hour and a half left. Miss Parker, Lauren just passed out. Well, get her some water and get her back on her feet. Can we please take a break? I'm worried about her. Let's just get her back on her feet. She's finally starting to look the part. She's always looked the part. She's an excellent dancer. Well, that doesn't matter if she's packing in hot dogs like there's no tomorrow. Miss Parker, that's cruel. Cruel? I demand perfection. And if you're not willing to give me that, then you don't deserve to be here. Wait! does not go hand in hand with perfection. Well, then our definitions of perfection are really different. What? Lauren. What happened? You passed out during rehearsals. Can I get you water? Yes, please, thank you. Have you eaten anything today, Lauren? No, I haven't eaten because of the diet. Well, that's your fault. I told you to stick to celery and almonds. Hardly. I had to lose weight fast. I couldn't eat anything. It just at all. Well, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you didn't decide to get fat. She is not fat. Her body is beautiful just the way it is. And forcing students to diet in order to fit your vision of perfection isn't helpful. My vision of perfection? She'll never fit anyone's vision of perfection with a body like that. Well, she fits mine. And I fit my own. If this is how we're treated, maybe we should get lessons elsewhere. Oh, I challenge you to find a more well-rounded or prestigious program in the city. And who cares? We'll certainly find one that treats us with dignity and respect. Well, good luck, Chunky. Good luck to both of you. Even as we leave, you can't help yourself. You just have to belittle me. Real mature. 
I think I'm beautiful. My friends think I'm beautiful. My partner thinks I'm beautiful. Why should I care what you think? Because I see things how the industry will see them. Audiences don't want to see perfection. They want to see themselves. And that's what I am. I'm one of them. Miss Parker? Alan, you're stunning. Although I'm not surprised my best student made it to the big leagues. How long ago did you cut that fat girl loose? What was her name? Lorraine? Lauren. Well, uh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's not talk about past mistakes. Tell me about you. You have to be tonight's principal dancer with a figure like yours. That's kind of you to say, but no. Would you like to meet her? Oh, of course I would, but I don't want to make a bad first impression. You don't have to worry about that. Lauren? You, but I had no idea. How on earth are you tonight's principal? Well, I had a wonderful teacher. Why are you here? Did I tell me to diet again? I read about this dance company. All these people out there, they're all here to see you. Lauren. I see you got the flowers that I sent. Yeah, they're beautiful. Hello, handsome. Are you part of this dance company? Lauren, why don't you introduce us? Hi, I'm Matt. Lauren's brother, and you are? Just leaving. Matt, this is my former dance teacher, Miss Parker. Oh, I've heard a lot about you. You're Lauren's brother? I really can't believe that. Why? Because I'm skinny? Well, no, it's just- This is a mistake. I need to get backstage. The show's starting soon, and I need to forget you're here. Lauren, wait. I'll see you after the show. I really hope you can still enjoy it. You really screwed her up, you know? I made her the performer that she is. It's not my fault she's still fat. God, you just do not get it. Even though she left your studio, your voice never left her head. She tried to look at herself in the mirror and accept the person she was, but all she saw was the way you looked at her, like she was broken. When Ellen and I told her again and again that she was beautiful, she would never listen. And she tried to fit into this shape that you told her to. But when the dieting didn't work fast enough, she threw everything up into that she ate. And when that didn't work, that's when things got really bad. She almost passed away in the hospital, you know. But thankfully, she pulled through and she started seeing someone who could help remind her that she doesn't have to be ashamed of who she was. And she got better, and not just mentally. She threw herself back into dancing with a passion I had never seen before. And everyone noticed. And they didn't care that she didn't look like normal dancers. All they cared about was the art that she made out on that stage. Lauren, she doesn't want you here tonight, but I want you to see how far she's come despite the flaws that you say she has. Who knows, maybe she can teach you a thing or two. 